Shalom. This is Princess Yehudia. And yes, just as the title says, a different kind of makeup tutorial. That is true. So this might be interesting for both um, both women and men, I think, young, young ladies, um, all ages, um, because you know, there's tons of there's tons of videos on YouTube of of uh, makeup tutorials, um, and and I like that. You know, I I do. Um, I have horses. Um, you know, I'm in, my life is involved with uh, Arabian horses on a daily basis, and uh, it takes hard work. Someone who's confident and uh, strong to be able to, to do that. Um, and I'm also, as they say, I guess, uh, very girly. I like frilly things, pink things, um, pretty things. So um, it's kind of an interesting thing when it comes to makeup. Um, and I just want to share what I have come to, what I have found. Uh, and it goes with also the spiritual part of it. So it does say in the word, you know, that um, our adornment is to be, uh, you know, um, I, I can't quote it exactly, but it's along the lines of, you know, a gentle um, spirit. Uh, basically, a, a, you know, a woman who fears the Lord, who loves the Lord, and that is to be the adornment. And that is indeed a beautiful adornment. I, I can't tell you how many beautiful people I've met, and I say beautiful um, because of their heart after God. And the truth is, beauty uh, around the world in different times in history, the definition of beauty has been something different for each each country, each person. And really, each person is beautiful in the way that God has made them, you know? Um we're all beautiful, okay? <laughs> Guys and ladies, all beautiful people. And um, and the most beautiful thing about someone is their love for God. Um, a gentle, also a gentle, quiet spirit. You know, um, often, you know, you know, my subscribers know that I'm soft-spoken, uh, not timid, although a lot of people put that together. Um, throughout my life, that's been something that... Uh, has been often related to or put together, soft-spoken, being timid. Um, I just don't have any need to raise my voice uh, to make a, a big entrance when I enter a room because I know that God is the one above me, and if anything, I want Him to make the big entrance. I want His Spirit to be what is what is made known, um, and. And that's my prayer and my hope. And uh, it's not going to be by anything that I do, any raising of my voice and, you know, any special adornment. Uh, but there's also nothing wrong with uh, liking, you know, going back to the subject about uh, things, girly things. There's nothing wrong with liking. Obviously, I'm wearing these big earrings. That's part of uh, something about me is I, I do like uh, things like this. And um, so for makeup, though, uh, going with also the spiritual part of this, um, you know, we want to be as real as possible with one another. And makeup, to me, a lot of times I see is kind of like a mask. And uh, um, I used to, more often, uh, I sometimes, okay, once in a while, but I used to wear the whole thing, you know, the, the foundation, the, the powder, the, the eyeliner, the mascara, the, the, uh, the eyeshadow. I used to wear all that. Um, not all the time, but, you know, that was the thing. And, and then I found that that was actually um, quite harmful for... The pores of my skin, um, I, I don't know who, I don't know why so much makeup has titanium in it, especially the powders, is, it's beyond me. I guess it's supposed to add a sheer look, but that can't be good for you. And the things that I can't even say in the ingredients of makeup, that just can't be good for you. If you can't say it, I just, yeah. So anyways, um, so what I've found is, uh, is uh, quite often now, I don't wear, no powder, no foundation just just my skin and and I know that a lot of times people wear makeup to cover up blemishes but guess what your blemishes are beautiful your you know skin tone being different it's it's beautiful right now I have absolutely no powder no foundation on my face and uh, actually I think for most of my videos I I appear that way um, because 
it's it's good. It's good to have clean skin, <laughs> clean pores, um, and and to see to know that just as we are not perfect as people, um, but God loves us. He sees us as beautiful. It's the same way with with your skin. You are beautiful just the way you are. Blemishes and all, yes, blemishes can be beautiful. As a good friend of mine also brought this up too, and I and meditating on that as well. These um, today, I was thinking about this. It really is. You are beautiful, and um, not really lipstick. I can't even remember when was the last time I wore lipstick. A lip gloss. It's like just to keep you know one hydrated, especially when it's hot outside in the winter months. Um, same color of lips. Very natural. When it comes to, I don't wear mascara anymore, hardly. I, I think, I don't remember when was the last time I wore mascara either. It's also really bad if you start crying, and I'm a very sensitive person, so I start crying, and it's not a good thing, running mascara, and also it clumps around your eyelashes. It's just nasty stuff for me now. I, I think of it that way, but, um, but eyeliner. So this is something that I use, but again, very, very minimal, and when I use eyeliner, it only is for the shape of my eyes. So basically, to bring out already the natural beauty that God has given um, in just that shape. Because, and that's the same for you, your shape of eyes, the beauty that God has put, um, just, uh, you know, accenting that, bringing that out, enhancing it. Um, there's a lot of tutorials about adding um, wings and <laughs> fancy things to, to your eyes. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. I just think it's some... Um, uh, you know, to, to go with what is natural to your to your eye shape is really a beautiful thing, that natural look. And that's really um, what I like to do. Um, just going for the, <laughs> just looking at the natural shape. And I do have, uh, nobody in my family has eyes shaped like mine. So I don't know where that came from, some gene from way back, I don't know. Actually, no one has the same color of eyes as mine either, but the shape of my eyes, nobody has. I've never seen anybody with the same shape of eyes as I have either. And it used to be that I was very self-conscious about that. Not exactly 100% negatively, but a little bit the fact that I did not have eyes like other people. Um, but I've come to embrace that and to love just how God has made me. Um, and so for you too, uh, you know, any young ladies or women out there who have a unique shape of eyes, um, just embrace that and... And that's, that's what I like to do, just to enhance uh, whatever is natural, whatever we, is naturally there. So, <laughs> the best makeup tutorial is to remember, um, advice I, I should share, is really has nothing to do with makeup at all, um, putting on makeup, but has to do with you um, knowing that you are beautiful just the way you are. Um, I know sometimes we don't feel like beautiful people, not just on the outside, but on the inside. We just don't feel like a beautiful person. You know, we're grumpy or something. Something happens and we say so, we mess up and we just feel awful about who we are. I understand that. I've been there, believe me, many, many times. So when that happens, you got to make a habit of being mindful of God's word for you. That no matter what, no matter what, you are amazing in his eyes. He already knew before you made the mistake, before you said what you said, before he already knew that you were going to do that. And even then, in those moments, he still loved you, and he still loves you after the fact. So that is my um, makeup tutorial advice. Um, what is true beauty is um, really God's love. That is true beauty. Um, but I do hope that my, um, uh, my little information there um, is a blessing to you. And thank you for listening. Both guys and girls, whoever all listened, I don't know. Um, shalom, shalom. I love you all. Thank you so much.